Hello everybody, and welcome back to my channel. Uh, I had an epiphany, or whatever they're called. Um, thinking about what one of my commenters had said about building a box. Uh, sorry, I just had a message fly uh, across the screen from that guy that I just did that work at. Uh, work done for but I was starting to think what else could I strip computer boards with and as I was at the storage unit I was breaking out the sawzall and I remember I had a tool that I just bought not too long ago and I was like sorry about the wind and I was like I wonder so, I got a new tool to take apart computer boards. There's a computer board that I did the test on. I just did this side just as a test uh, because it's way too windy out. Nothing went flying. It all stayed right here on the tailgate. But I think I found it. My new tool for stripping so no cabinet, no using a hammer or anything like that. Look what I'm going to use. Yeah, that, that, hmm, hmm, equals, hmm. Yeah, because I cut the cat off with the sawzall and that's why I needed I grabbed it it didn't fog up or anything uh, but those wheels do not fit that machine because the blade was uh, not in a complete circle it was kind of wobbly not side by side but up and down so it is too small for the hole is too small for that so yeah but i already put the stuff in the bucket so i'm gonna find me a piece of carpet and i'm going to show you guys at a in a future video how i take boards apart now it was really simple, you know, it came off with no problem. Uh, that might be my most used tool from now on, especially after I have to get rid of all this. <laughs> but we'll see how it goes. That is going to be, but it just struck me as I was, you know, looking for my Zazaw. And my cord that I'm just going to keep here. Uh, but I'm going to put the fender in here. Because the guy who's going to buy the fender is still not back yet. And I can't just have that thing rattling around in the back of my truck. It'll get damaged. So. Yeah. And I did have a small little accident here. Uh the elephant that used to sit there well it went from there down to there and there's a piece of it right there the other piece of it is right there and the pieces that were on the ground are in there because it is gold recovery anyways it'll just go into that machine that i want to purchase but everything here is looking up uh, I'm still going to take that apart. That's going to be fun. So, but yeah, I just did a small little test. And it worked out great. Uh, did it get that wire? Yeah, it got that wire too. And I'll strip these with my new little stripper. 
that's the reason why I got that small little stripper. But yeah, it's it went underneath it cut. So yeah. That will be my probably my next video. Which will well maybe I'll grab a towel or something that I can do it on. I need to find something that I could lay on the ground and throw a whole bunch of boards down and just go at it and start ripping these things apart. Because once you get a groove, it doesn't take you very long to take those things apart. You know? And I don't have to worry about my hand doing this all the time. <laughs> but yeah. We'll see how this works out. Uh, in the next video, I am going to give a live shout out to the person who gave me the carpet idea and the box idea uh, be, because he deserves recognition for it. Uh, he's probably going to say, oh, he doesn't want it or need it, but that's just the way I am. You give me good ideas, I give you a shout out. And, uh, yeah. So, but he, him and another guy, there's three people that comment on my videos constantly. And it's, you know, about time that these guys get recognized because I really appreciate their feedback. You know, they're the only three that do. You know, every once in a while, Scrap and Matt, Pallet Man will come in and say, hey. But that's it. That man is not much for words. <laughs> Except in his videos. He's always talking. Similar to me. I know. Shut up. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so... But, yeah, th that didn't fog up or anything, but I did notice that because the temperature is getting hot here, it was a little hot, but I wasn't having problems with the sweat coming down the face mask, just on my glasses. <laughs> so, yeah. So, I will put this video up when I get a chance. Uh, I've already uploaded two today. So, yeah. But that's what the back of my truck looks like now. That I'm keeping in there because I'm going to take it apart. That I got to take apart. This I'm just going to leave back there because it's going to the dump here shortly. Uh, probably when I do another dump run for that other guy. So this way I can get paid for dumping my own metal. <laughs> but yeah. This is going to be the new tool for stripping boards. Like I said, it worked great. It didn't jump or anything, and the board was nice and steady. And then I got to get a hold of my. Uh, I'm going to keep that in here. Uh, then I have to get a hold of the glass guy at the last building down there uh, because he might have a piece of. Uh, uh, reflective uh, window film since he does tinting so yeah so yeah that's that's it for this video it's I will see you guys and this is for taking the alternators apart in the next video I already got the tools out for it and everything I just it'll most likely be tomorrow but I'm going to put that in there, and then I'm going to head home to wait for my nephew. So I will see you guys in the next video. Later, Gators, and God bless you all.